Alrighty, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to use iMovie to put together your stop motion animation. Um, this is done after you've already put your photos in your iPhoto library. So first thing you want to do is open up iMovie. If it is not in your dock already, you can find it in your apps. So it looks like this has a little star at the bottom. Uh, you can also search for it up here using the search tab by just typing in the first couple of letters and it will pop up. When it opens up, it'll um, come up looking something like this. You may not see all of these things here because if you haven't used it before, you don't have any movies started. Uh, so what we want to do first is we want to create something. So, But we want to tell it where we want it to go. So the first thing we're going to do is make an event. So we're going to go up to File and choose New Event. You can name your event whatever you would like. Um, for this we're just going to call it Example. Uh, and now we want to make a movie to go inside of this event. So we're going to click on the Create button. We can also do the same thing up in File, so New Movie, or we can click on this Create button and say Create Movie. We do not want a theme for this project, so we're going to make sure that no theme is selected. Click on Create, and we're going to title our movie. Title it something that makes sense. You don't want 900 uh, movies called My Movie. So uh, we're going to go with Example Stop Motion for now. And we want to put it in the event that we just made. So I just made an event called example. I'm going to make sure that it goes inside of that event. Hit OK. So this way, that's just a way to keep things nice and organized. All right, so we want to get some pictures. We have our event. We have our movie. And we need to find some pictures. So we have everything put inside of our iPhoto library. We're going to click on our iPhoto library, and we're going to find the event in our iPhoto that we have all the pictures in. Now, hopefully you have already sorted your pictures, made sure that they are in the correct order, and everything like that. So here we go. This is what I want. And I'm going to drag this whole event down to the bottom of the screen. And there's quite a few pictures in here, so maybe it'll take a bit. All right, doesn't seem to be working. We're going to try something else. Okay, let's open up the event by just double-clicking it. Everything is highlighted. Let's scroll through, make sure that everything is loading okay. Again, there's lots of pictures, and you guys will have lots of pictures too, so it might take a little bit. All right, let's drag. start by dragging the first picture down while they're all highlighted. Now it seems to be working. Give your computer some wait time because, again, you know, it's trying to do 127 different things right now, so give it some time. Alrighty. So now what we want to do is all of our pictures are in here, and we can scroll down just by moving our mouse, and we can kind of see what's going to happen. So we see two things. First of all, it's like going in and out, which we don't want. That will really mess up our stop motion. Um, and right now things are set to, uh, each picture is going to be on there for four seconds and we don't want that either. So we're going to do a couple things. So we're, first of all, we're going to make sure that all of these are selected and we know that they're selected because they have the, the yellow border around them. And we're going to go up here to the top. First thing we're going to do is click on this um, info button. And we're going to change the duration to 0 0.3. That is the smallest amount of time that your pictures will be able to be on here. It keeps changing. There we go. It's the smallest amount of time that the duration will work, so you can't do anything smaller than 0.3 or it doesn't work. So it's a third of a second. Uh, then we're going to go to Crop, which is this little icon right here. And right now, Ken Burns is selected, and that is what is making things zoom in and out. And we won't want that because it will mess up our animation. 
So we're going to click on fit and choose fit instead. And you'll see automatically that kind of changes everything, makes it look a little bit different down here on the bottom. Okay, I can click on play. Actually, let's drag this to the beginning of our video. Our little bar here. I'm going to click on play and just see, you know, what's happening with the video. Make sure everything is going the way I want it to go and the Ken Burns is turned off. And it looks pretty good. So we're going to add our music. Uh, for this, I can go down here on the left-hand corner to iTunes. I can choose something that I have already in my iTunes. Remember, it needs to be something that is legally downloaded onto your computer. Uh, if there is nothing in your iTunes that you want to use, say you're using um, Sounds of Bounds to get some sound effects, you can go to the website. We're going to click on the library page. Choose the Iowa AEA logo on the left hand side. And then we're going to scroll down to Sounds Bound. And once we are here, we're going to browse by category. So it's in this little box, choose category. And from here you can look and see uh, what you might want to check out here. So let's find, let's find some Mozart for our example video. You can click on the play button to kind of see a little test of what it's going to sound like. Um, and then you can download it. So when you download it, just click on the download button. If you're using Chrome, it'll go down in the bottom bar. Otherwise, it'll just be in your downloads folder. We're going to open this file. It'll automatically open inside of iTunes. So now it is in your iTunes. And we want to make sure that we know what the name of it is so we can find it once we're in iMovie. So we are looking for the artist is Mozart. Maybe it's sort of by name. Let's check that. There we go. So in this case, I had to be careful. So it didn't have an artist, but it, the name of it was Mozart Alleluia. So it's up here. And now all I need to do is drag that file down to the bottom of my timeline. I can make it as long as I would like by dragging it to the front of the video. And then now when I play my file, or play my movie, the music will play along with it. Um, if you want to do fancy stuff with your music, okay, so this one is a little bit short. If I wanted to add another song on here, um, you are going to need to look up some specific things on how to use iMovie and play around with the music part of it. I am not an expert um, in iMovie as far as sound is concerned. Um, but there's so many things that you can do, and there's tons of good YouTube tutorials. Um, so go out there and uh, look for what you want to do. And iMovie is pretty user-friendly, and there's lots of resources out there. All right. Uh, enjoy using iMovie for your video, and we'll do another tutorial later on how to turn things in.